Hi, this is Christine Venus Astrology here with your daily astrology delivery. Okay, so today we have the moon down here in Capricorn. We are building up to a full moon in Capricorn. Today the moon's at 8 degrees, so the full moon will be tomorrow, that means. So Thursday for the southern hemisphere and probably more like Wednesday for the northern hemisphere. Um, and it's the moon is going to be um, in a conjunction with Pluto. So it's going to be a very intense moon. Uh, the sun, the moon and sun um, are in an opposition in a full moon. So we've got the moon over here at 20 degrees of Cancer. So it will build up towards that 22 degrees where the full, I'm pretty sure the full moon is. And... Uh, will be opposite the moon here at 22 degrees. Let's just go forward a, dip, a day in the chart and have a quick look. Um, one day. So there we go, 23 degrees. So yeah, it's happening uh, uh, back more at like 20. Let's have a look, let's go exact. So... Let's get that moon back to make the sun. Oops. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. There we go. Uh, 18 degrees, 21. So let's go forward. Okay, so it's actually at 21 degrees. So it's in a um, wide conjunction with Pluto in Capricorn then. Oops, where's my pen? But that full moon is the closest one to Earth all year. And being on that Tropic of Capricorn, um, in the Tropic of Cancer, there's that, that angle. That's, um, and... It's going to be the most intense, and it's a very powerful meet, um, being so close to Pluto there too. The moon is a reflection. It's our feelings and emotions, our internal self. It's our environment. And then that Pluto is all about transformation and change and destroying things and bringing up secrets and um, power struggles and um, trauma so it can be healed. It's that phoenix rising energy so that it can be transformed into something new. So that is quite powerful, this full moon that's coming up. Full moon's all about releasing and letting go of what's no longer serving us, that's holding us back, that's in this case hold, keeping us in fear and, and not allowing us to step into our true power. Uh, so uh, the moon will be quite close to... Um, to the 22 degrees point where Pluto and Saturn met in 2020, January 2020, uh, which is when we had the first lot of lockdowns. So, uh, and it's funny because there's a lot of um, stuff going on at the moment with the virus and with it's things spreading again and all this stuff, or at least here in Australia there is anyway. And then um, the government even said today um, that if people can work from home, they should. So it's quite interesting that that point is going to be triggering that again and we're getting towards being told to stay home again. Everything cycles, everything works together and plays out with the astrology and the stars and the planets and everything and the Earth and us. Okay, so... That um, uh, full moon is definitely going to be about transformation and change. So we're building up to that today. So that moon is going to um, make an opposition with uh, Mercury first, later today, tonight. Uh, and that, op let's just put the chart back to right now. Actually, let's just have a quick... Oh, we'll talk about the full moon tomorrow anyway, more in more detail. So let's go back to right now. Uh, so that moon is going to be making an opposition there with... Uh, Mercury. Oops. I 
15 degrees later today tonight um so that moon so that's uh, it's this can be someone or a conversation or communication or something sparking some some you know thought process to do with our feelings and emotions and about how we need to find balance how we can see things from someone else's perspective where we um you know maybe we need to see where we're not nurturing and caring for ourselves enough and we're overdoing it and working too much that capricorn moon energy capricorn moon can be quite harsh and critical because it's all about rules and restrictions and um, getting things done and working hard and building things and um, putting in the effort and showing up and taking responsibility and um, uh, that's pretty much yeah so it's 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 authority um and yeah so and it's our goals and you know what we're working towards that sort of stuff so it's very much that energy of just um that saturn energy basically so it's all about hard work so and that mercury energy so that cancer energy is the opposite it's all about self-care and nurturing and looking after the self and um that feminine uh receptive energy where it's about being intuitive and being more in a relaxed receiving state and not being so go 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 masculine energy having to get things done and um, have so much structure and routine and all of that stuff it's more about flowing and and taking things as they come and stuff like that so those two energies it's very much you know the moon in opposition with mercury it could be someone telling us we need to have more um, self-care and, and rest and nurture ourselves more or something like that um, versus, you know, working too hard and burning out and stuff like that or the other way or whatever. There can be some kind of conversation around something like that possibly. Um, even where we're, you know, pushing too hard or something. Uh, the... Mm, what else? Uh, it's going to... It's currently in a square with Jupiter, so... Jupiter's expanding all those sorts of things right now. So anytime Jupiter touches me, expands it. It, um, it, uh, Jupiter's, yeah, here to expand things, to grow things. So it's that square is like bringing in, and it can be bringing in an obstacle, bringing in some kind of restriction or hard truth or something like that um, for us to, um, uh, what was I going to say? To see, um, uh, I lost my thought with that. Um, I guess, yeah, to see where we are um, restricting ourselves and not being able to have that growth um, and that spiritual purpose as well because that's Jupiter is all about is, is spiritual is a spiritual planet too and in that Aries energy it's all about identity and who we are and what we're going after and that so it's like some kind of restriction or obstacle or us you know seeing where we're um, pushing ourselves maybe too hard on one area and we're not able to have that growth and abundance and all that and to be truly who we are because we're stuck by the rules and regulations and needing to do what needs to be done instead of doing what's going to give us the real abundance and growth and be true to ourselves and what we really want to do and what we want. So, yeah, I'd say that's playing a part of it today because, um, yeah, Jupiter is... Um, is wanting us to see the wisdom of something too so to stop slow down and you know assess the situations and our environment being the moon and our feelings and our emotions and see what's stopping us from having that abundance and that growth and that true spiritual connection with our identity and who we are and what we want uh, and then there's a trine earth trine there with um not an earth trine being all earth signs but a trine with Taurus there with um, that Mars. So it's passing through that it's leaving that trine now, but that definitely would have, you know, driven us to, with those, those moon energies, especially with that um, Taurus, to really be um, wanting to, uh, opportunities for us to see how we can emotionally um, get fulfilled by taking action on things and really committing to things and putting in the hard work and staying on path 
not getting off path and not um, straying away or, um, you know, not putting in the effort and the hard work and like staying the long term for it and, you know, um, grinding away each day, but doing it for something that is going to build something that's purposeful, that's for the future, that's for something that is going to bring abundance and stability and um, that's something that you desire and you really want. That will, again, fulfill those emotional needs. So it also can be all this energy can be triggering us in like things about um, our um, reputation and society and the world and like what we're, cre what we're building and what kind of legacy we have and stuff like that as well can be um, triggering. And then things about, because we're talking about Taurus energy, two things about like our money and our finances and our self-worth and our confidence and all that can come up as well. Um, okay, I think that's about it. I'll leave that for today. But building up to that Capricorn full moon, it's going to be more intense with that Pluto energy there and being just a Capricorn in general. It's, it's harder to express the feelings and emotions with that Capricorn energy. It's the um, opposite sign of where the moon is naturally um, comfortable and in its home sign, which is in Cancer. So being in Capricorn, it's in a Saturn energy. It's not as comfortable. It's um, can't be as expressive with its feelings and emotions because it's uh, more serious and feels more burdened with responsibility and having to do think the task master sat in and show up and um, be on time and, and all that stuff and not waste time, things like that. When all we want to do is just nurture and tune into ourselves and our intuition and what our body needs and what we really need and what we really want that's going to bring that emotional contentment. All right, take care. Have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow.